on Adobe's website, Adobe Photoshop Actions are described as a user built series of recorded tasks or commands that you can play back and record on single or multiple files. They are similar to macros or shortcuts in that they help you automate tasks. Hello, this is HK Dan, and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Actions allow you to record processes in Photoshop and then play them back again, which is going to save you a lot of time. Why are actions needed? Sometimes you may have complicated processes in Photoshop and instead of doing the several steps on every single picture, you can just record that and play it back again. So in this video, I will show you how to use actions. In fact, an action will be created on sharpening your images in Photoshop. How to add dialogues and stops will also be explained properly. Alright guys, let's start. Now we are in the magical world of Photoshop. So, um, to check where your action is, you go to Windows, then Windows, then there's an action here. Then you click on it, it's going to pop up your actions. So, when you're just opening your Photoshop, this is what you will meet just default actions. Default actions are preloaded actions. So, if your Photoshop is not like this, if your action panel is not like this, the next thing to do is to uh, click on this place and reset. Click on reset action is going to bring back your default actions just in case you deleted yours. So this is how action works. Let's use one of the default actions to explain. Let me use one of the default actions to explain. So let's pick sepia tony. Let's assume you have 20 images and you want the 20 images to be toned the same way. Instead of going through series of processes, series of steps, every single time on those 20 pictures, you can just create it once, record it, and play it 19 other times. It will save you a lot of time. So let's assume you want to use Sepia Tony for this picture and several other pictures. After creating it, then you just play to tone it in that particular way. So this action actually saves time. This video is not about Sepia Tony, so I'll delete this. So let's get into our tutorial. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to create actions. So the first thing you do is to create a group. Um, it's called a new set. Create a new set. Uh, let's name the group HK Dan. You can name the group any like anyhow you want. HK Dan is my name. Click OK. Then you create what? You create a new action. As you can see, create new action. Inside the group you've created. I mentioned earlier that the action I'll be creating in this tutorial is sharpening action. So um, let's call it HK Sharpen. Um, then you can actually set a function key. You can set any of these function keys. Um, it gives you it's almost like a short. It's like a shortcut. So after creating your action, you can easily just click F2. If I set this in on F2, you can easily just click F2 and the sharpening action will come up. However, if F2 has been occupied, you can use one of these two, Shader, Shift or Control to aid the action. However, I won't be using any of these. I'll be creating a function key for my action, but I'll be creating a color for my action. I want my action to be red. This will be very important. if your mode is on button mode. I'll also explain that after we've created our action. So let's press, after you must have named your action and then we've done any other thing here, the next thing to press is record. We are trying to record our action. So you create your new action, you hit the record button, then you see a red thing going on. There's a red thing going on. This means that anything I do in Photoshop while the red record is going on, it's going to be recorded and I can always play it back as an action. So let's move into creating our sharpen action. So the first thing you do is to create a new layer. As you can see, as I'm clicking on anything, it will be recording. It will be recording over here. So the first thing you do is to create a new layer so that you can merge the layer. So this is how I merge my layers. So you go to image, apply image then it must be unmerged 
let the mode multiply 100%, then press OK. That's match the layer. As you can see, it updated here also to recording. That's the meaning. So the next thing you do after merging the layer is to go to your image, adjustment, then desaturate. We are trying to desaturate because we don't want the sharpening to affect the colors. That is the reason why I have to desaturate. So from there, you change your... Um, the next thing you do is to convert to smart object. This is how you convert to smart object. You go to layer, you go to smart object, then convert to smart objects. Then after converting to smart object, you have to change your blend mode to overlay from normal you go to overlay after making your blend mode overlay the next thing you do is to go to filter order i pass then you pick a radius you pick a radius let me zoom in as you can see these are picture let me make the radius zero pixels zero pixels so what this means is that as i'm increasing the radius uh my image will become more sharpened so the sharpening intensity will be higher as i'm increasing the radius that's the meaning also, don't make the mistake of making the radius too much as you can see um image is losing uh, the fill and color so don't over sharpen that's my point don't over sharpen your image just try and pick a very nice radius so for this particular image i'll be picking six so that you can see the difference between the unsharpened image and the sharpened image so the next thing after this is to press ok then i'm done with my recording the next thing i will do is to press stop stop playing or recording I'm done. I'm done creating this action. So I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but I believe I picked the very good radio so that you can see the difference. This is the before and this is the after. Before, after. So let's delete this step. Let's delete this step. And let's assume I didn't do the step on this particular image. This is another image entirely. And you want to sharpen. Instead of creating, going through the steps and processes, you just have to click on your action that you've created. Then you press play. It will play the sharpen. As you can see, that's what it does. Before, after. So we are done with our sharpening action. So that is the basic way actions work. Now we are going to explain how dialogues and stops works. How do we add dialogues and how do we add stops? I will show you one more thing you can do, which will afford you more flexibility in your actions. The actions we created did not give us options or flexibility in the iPad filter especially. So this is what you want. Uh, as you can see, whenever I, when, when I clicked, okay, let's, let's do that again. When I play this action, in this I pass layer, it did not give me the option of picking a particular radius because the same radius cannot work for every picture. Every picture, the same radius can work. So this is what you do. You click on this box. You click. You toggle the dialog on or off. So you have to toggle the dialog on beside the iPass. So let, let me show you the effect it gives. Okay, as you can see, it's bringing out, it's, it, it, it was able to bring out this dialog box now. iPass, now I have the option. It afforded me that flexibility to change my radius to any pixels I want. So let me pick, maybe this time around, I want nine. 
because of that dialog box. So, so that's how to include dialog box. Include the dialogs rather into your action. So before, after. That's how action works. If you want to give this action to someone else, you can add little memos or guidelines. It is like a note. So this is how you add it. You go to um let's say before before your iPads, you want to give you want to like write a particular guideline so that you can guide whoever will be using your action in future. Uh, you can guide them. What you do is to click on this place again. Go to insert stop. Like I said earlier, it's like a note. So uh, let me just give a warning. Choose radius wisely. Something like that. You know, you can always write anything you want. But um, this is like a guide. I need an... Okay, let me add this exclamation mark. Then allow continue. Okay. Can you see stop has been recorded inside my action. So let me delete my action again so I can show you the essence of that guideline that I mentioned. It's like a memo. So uh, let me play my action again. Can you see? Choose radius wisely. Then continue. Then I will choose my radius. So it has entered whoever will be using my action in future that, okay, I'm supposed to be wise about my radius. It's like a guideline, like a warning. So you can use your note to pass across information also. It's up to you. It's left to you. You press OK after picking your radius, of course. After picking your radius, you press OK and you are done. So this is how to create actions. This is how to use actions. This is how to add dialogues and stops also. I think I've been able to explain every aspect of that. This time around, I'll be showing you how to save actions. Let's say you want to save this HK done. So this is what you will do. Click here, go ahead and save actions. Uh, save actions. Let me create um, something on my desktop. Let me just drop it on my desktop. Then click on, or let me drop it inside this folder called S on my desktop. Click on save. So then let me delete this. What you will try to do is to load that action. That's what you will try to do. Let me exit full screen. And let me delete this action so that you can, we can replay the actions one more time. So like I said, there's a folder called S. Where is it? This is a folder called S. And this is the action. I can double click. The action will come up. Or, better still, I can go back to this place. Click here. Click on this button. Then, go to load actions. There's an action on my desktop called HKDAN. Under S, HKDAN. Then you load it. Can you see? Then under S, under HK, there's an action called HK Sharpen. Then you play it. Everything is still intact. Choose radius wisely. Continue. Then you pick your radius. Press OK. And you are done. So you can always save these actions that you've created. You can even sell those actions that you've created. So this is another way you can also make money by creating unique actions for people to use. In conclusion, actions can be made to save time. You can also customize and share with others. So next time you have a lot of pictures, just use actions. Plan your actions, create your actions, record your actions, save your actions, and use your actions. So if you've made it this far, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. Thank you very much.